tell me your, your name and your position? My name is Dan Lynch and I'm the EMS director for the Central California EMS Agency. All right, and how long have you been in this position? About 28 years, 28 years. so yeah, I started in 1995 and uh, yeah. it's been quite the ride for yeah. the last 28 years. Yeah. And how did you find yourself in this position? What was what was your background that, that got you to this position? So, you know, I started out as a as an EMT for a volunteer ambulance provider uh, here in the mountains of Madera County, and uh, and then just kind of wanted to stay in the business because it was it was it was awesome. I mean, mm -hmm. it was a it was something where I could help people and everything. So I decided that this was what I wanted to do. So I continued my education, became a paramedic. Um, actually an EMT two at the time and then a paramedic and then uh, advanced into uh, the management of an ambulance provider and, and then eventually got access to uh, the or the opportunity to to be at the EMS agency which was great yeah so how old were you when you became an EMT I you know it was an interesting scenario because when I was 17 I was riding along with an ambulance and I got to deliver a baby um, and that was kind of the thing that kind of threw this thing over the top was like, wow, I, I mean, that was pretty incredible to be able to, to deliver a baby. And so, um, I, I, that, that just caught me. And so I, that was at 17. And so I stuck with it and, um, and just went into the, stayed in the business. And, and that's been the ride I've been on since 1981. And can you take a moment to kind of uh, to relive that uh, experience when you when you witnessed the the EMTs, the paramedics delivering the baby? What was that like? Well, you know, it, it was interesting because it was just me and one other one other person in the back of the ambulance, and um, I, you know, we were very close friends as well because it's a small community, um, and so. We, you know, I was in the back of the ambulance and uh, it, it was someone we knew uh, because again, it's a small community. So um, the, the, the mom was in labor and um, so, you know, we were going down the road to the hospital, which was about a 45 minute uh, tr travel time to the hospital. And at one point we just figured we're not gonna make it. So we pulled over to the side of the road and, uh, and um, the uh, the EMT because we only had EMTs at that time. The EMT at the time said, um, "You know, we're we're gonna have to deliver this baby." So I got in the uh, the position to catch the baby, and uh, and he was getting everything else started um, going. You know, and so uh, the baby was born, and it was it was it was pretty incredible. It was pretty incredible. It was funny because. The, the father was sitting up in the front seat of the ambulance and uh, when we pulled over and all, I just remember him looking back going like, what what are we doing? Here's these two young kids. Cause the, the, the volunteer, you know, the e other EMT that was with me in the back of the ambulance, he was only another, a year older. And uh, what was your, what was kind of the epiphany that you had in that moment that led you to think, oh, hey, I want to do this as a career? Well, is there anything better than bringing a life into the world? I mean, when you're 17 years old, almost 18, I was like a few weeks away from being 18 years old and being able to sit there and, and deliver a, a baby um, and, and bringing that life into the world and, and knowing that everything's going to be okay and then getting them to the hospital. Um, and one of the things that caught me was the hospital called me later on that day and said, hey, next time you're in, in Fresno, you need to come by and sign the birth certificate. And and I thought, how cool is that? You know, I get to go sign a baby's birth certificate. But that whole experience, that whole thing was just uh, so cool. Um, it, it, nobody gets to go through something like that. So um, bringing a life into the world and, and everything turning out all right, that was like... There's nothing better. There's nothing better than that.